grade. I hope you're doing well. Um, congratulations, you've made it through your first two weeks of online learning and um, we're getting ready to start the third week. So today we will be in Proverbs chapter nine and yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to be in the word with you guys today and to see what the Lord has to teach us and just to see how we can um, grow in his word and grow in guidance and direction and wisdom and things like that. So let's start with prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Um, we thank you for the ability to be in your word. We thank you that the virus has not stopped you. We thank you that the virus um, is is curving, Lord. I pray that it would just the numbers would continue to go down. That people would continue to um, distance themselves from each other, so that we can just be done with it, Lord. I thank you that you're in control, and I just pray that you that we would trust you and that we would believe you um, in everything that we say and do and every part of our lives just more and more as um, these difficult times are ahead of us Lord we pray all these things in your name amen okay invitation invitations of wisdom and folly Invitations of Wisdom and Folly. Chapter 9. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 9. Wisdom has built her house. She has he heen out its seven pillars. She has prepared her meat and mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has set out her maids, and she calls from the highest point of the city. Let all who are simple come in here. She says to those who lack judgment, Come, eat my food, and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways, and you will live. Walk in the way of understanding. So wisdom has built her house. She's ready. Um, she's prepared food. She set her table. So she she's opening her doors and saying, "Come on in. You are welcome here." To those that are simple, those that need her guidance and direction, and um, like the adulteress was standing on the court saying hey come over here come over here the um lady wisdom is standing on her porch saying come on in you are welcome you know i will share my food with you i will share my knowledge with you and um you know it's something that we can seek from from her and um receive Verse 7, whoever corrects a mocker invites insult. Whoever rebukes a wicked man incurs abuse. Do not rebuke a mocker or he will hate you. Rebuke a wise man and he will love you. Instruct a wise man and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man and he will add to his learning. So if we're, if we're correcting or trying to tell somebody to do something that is a person that doesn't want to listen, is a person that thinks that they have it all figured out, um, then we're going to have issues. You know, it's like if, if you have this person that's trying to, I don't know, a kid, they're trying to put 
their left shoe on their right foot. And you sit there and say, I don't think that's right. And they're like, no, I can do it myself. Like, they have it in their mindset that they have this figured out, that they have everything put together, and that they can do what's needed. But the truth is they don't know what they need to do. But since they are um, mocking or wicked, they won't listen. They'll just hate the, the response that you have to give them, um, those that are doing wrong. They, they are righteous. Um, <laughs> instruct the man, the wise man, and he will be wiser still. So those that are wise, those that are willing to listen, like they're going to grow in their knowledge. Those that are not willing to listen are, they're not going to improve. They're not going to grow. They're just going to stay the same or get worse. Okay, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through me your days will be many, and your years will be added to your life. And years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will re reward you. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. So here we hear this again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So respecting the Lord, fearing Him, gives us wisdom. And knowledge of the Holy One, knowledge of God, knowing God, helps us understand Him. Your days will increase, your years will be many, your life will be long if you're seeking the Lord and you're listening to Him and trying to follow Him. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. So being wise is a good thing. If you're a mocker, if you're somebody that's making fun of people, if you're acting in ways that you shouldn't, you're going to suffer, and it's going to be you, just you, that's suffering. Nobody else. It's going to be you suffering the consequences of your actions and what you're deciding to do. The woman, thir verse 13. The woman folly, the woman folly is loud. She is un- Undis undisciplined she is undisciplined and with not without knowledge she sits at the door of her house on a seat at the highest point of the city calling out to those who are to those who pass by who go straight on their way so the woman of folly the woman that's doing wrong is she's loud about it. She's undisciplined. She's not focused. She's not thinking. She sits at the door of her house at the highest point and pretty much is just calling and shouting to people. And those that she calls to come straight to her. It's kind of scary. Okay, verse 16. Let all who are simple come come in here. She says to those who lack judgment. Stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the dead are there. That her guests are the in the depths of the grave. Let all who are simple come here, says she who lacks judgment. Those 
but don't know what they're doing, are trying to find their own way, there are people that are going to sit there and say, hey, I know what way you should go. Follow me. Do what I say. Do what I want. But she's teaching about stealing and doing things that are wrong and doing things that aren't lift, uplifting and good. And it says, um, stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. Like, the things that she offers looks good, but when you walk in the house, you find out all that are there are dead. I mean, just think about it. It'd be like having a pie um, that looks all pretty on the outside. And then you dig into it and you find out that it's a mud pie on the inside. Like, ew. And that's, that's what this, um, what, that's what the foolish women, people find out when they, when they choose simple ways, when they choose to go ways that are not right or good, um, they just fall into bad situations. So, that is it for Proverbs 9, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye. God bless.